Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPT Nati YouTube channel. This is Manmohit. In today's video, I am going to share with you all the scoring distribution for all the topics in the PT exam, just so that at the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what every topic is worth. And based on that, you can definitely design your study plan and kind of prioritize your time as to which topics you should be preparing, which topic you should be giving a lot of time in, which topic should be the last at last of your priority bucket and which topic should you put your entire effort in because those would be the game deciders. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. And if you have any sort of questions, like we always say, do make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. So just keep one thing in mind. These are just approximate kind of numbers. Obviously, it's a proper computer based algorithm based exam. So we cannot really put a number to every single topic. We can't say read aloud is worth 30 marks, exact 30 marks. It never happens. Obviously, there's too many variables for this one. It depends on how many questions you get in the exam and all that stuff. And obviously, it is going to be an approximate number, but it will still give you a better idea of how much each topic is worth. So if you look at this is your speaking section, this is your speaking five topics in the PT exam. Read aloud the very first topic you get. Now these are the updated number of questions after the changes that happened last year. So you get about six or seven questions for read aloud. And this one give you marks in about in reading and speaking both. Speaking is a bit less than reading. It's about 20 to 25 marks. It's after the increment that happened in read aloud and reading is about 35 to 40 marks. Now I'm telling you these marks out of 90. And as you can see the difference here, students take this topic for granted. So understand if you are struggling in your reading module, yes, fill in the blanks reading. Yes, fill in the blanks reading plus writing are important, but do not take this topic for granted. As you can see, it's almost almost double marks in your reading as compared to the speaking section followed by repeat sentence. It gives you marks in listening and speaking both because you listen and then speak your audio that you listen. So it's roughly about 30 to 35 marks out of 90. So this one has increased slightly because of the same number of questions. So they've increased the importance of this one. So you still get about 10 to 12 sentences and about 30 to 35 marks approximately in listening and speaking both followed by describe image. Now this is an important topic, but just in the speaking module, it gives you about 25 to 30 marks out of 90 just memorizing the template, putting in some keywords in there, follow the strategy that we have shared in our describe image video. You should be getting a perfect score in that. Perfecting this topic will gain you about 25 to 30 marks in speaking by itself. Followed by retail lecture. Now they have reduced the number of questions for this topic. Now you only get one to two questions for retail lecture. So the marking is also reduced slightly. Listening and speaking, it gives you about five to 10 marks out of 90 based on how many questions you get. So obviously, if you're aiming for 65 or 79, this is one topic we cannot take for granted. Yes or no, it's only five to 10 marks, but five to 10, especially for 79, it's a game changer. And also for 65, you cannot take these many marks for granted. Followed by answer short questions. This is one topic where students put a lot of time and energy towards, but just look at the number of marks you're getting for this one. In listening and speaking both, it's only one to two marks. And I'm not saying do not practice this topic, but again, just understand our strategy for this one. Even if you give the wrong answer, you do not lose any mark for answer short questions. That is why do not prepare this. Just speak anything in English. Yes, prefer giving the correct answer if you already know the answer. But if you do not know the answer, make sure you speak something in English and you will be getting a full score in the listening and speaking section both. So this was your speaking. Now followed by writing, we have got two topics in there. Summarize written text and writing essay. Now. Summarize written text, they've reduced the number of questions now. Instead of two to three, now you only get one to two. There is a chance you may only get one summarized written text, but maximum you can now only get two, not three. For essay, it is still one to two essays, but I've rarely seen anyone getting two essays in the exam. Even recently, even before the changes, when the exam used to be three hours, I've rarely seen anyone getting two essays in the exam. In the mock test of the official mock test of Pearson, we always used to get two, but not in the actual exam. For now, summarized written text, previously it used to be about 14 to 21 marks out of 90, 60 to 40 being distributed in the writing and the reading module. But now because the questions have reduced, now this is the marking distribution in reading and writing. You get about approximately three to six marks in the reading, whereas four to eight marks in writing. It's a bit more marks in writing because of it's a writing task and obviously you put those connectors, full stop and all those kind of things. So 
Again, if you're aiming for 79, you cannot take this topic for granted. But for 65, this is one thing. If you just understand the strategy of this, again, this topic, watch our summarized written text video. You'll understand what I'm talking about. And you should be getting a full score in this one as well. Followed by essay, still the same weightage, five to 10 marks in writing. Just memorize the template well, understand how to generate ideas, and you should be all good. Again, watch our writing essay full tutorial video to understand how this topic is done, and you should be all good with this one as well. Followed by the reading module. Now, five topics in the reading section, fill in the blanks reading plus writing, followed by all these other four topics. Now, the number of questions, they have only reduced the number of questions for multiple choice, single and multiple answers. They have reduced the questions from two to three to now just one and two. But the other topic questions remain exactly the same. So did the marking. For fill in the blanks reading plus writing, for five to six questions, now you get 25 to 30 marks in reading and writing both. Exactly the same as previous. For fill in the blanks reading, 20 to 25 marks, very, very important topics for either, even if you're aiming for 50, 65 or 79, these two topics are going to be one of the game changing topics. Reorder paragraph, only five to seven marks in reading. If you're aiming for 79, yes, it is an important topic. 65, not as much. This is one topic where even if you put a lot of time and energy towards, this is one topic which is very difficult to get it done perfectly. So do not bother about spending a lot of time on that, but then 15 to 20 minutes on a daily basis should be more than enough. Then we have multiple choice, single and multiple answers. This is a bit of a controversial one. Whenever we say reading, it is zero, but we have tested that in the real exam. Even if you skip these questions, even if you get all of them wrong, you do not lose any marks for multiple choice questions. Now I'm not saying just skip those questions in the exam deliberately and intentionally. Just speak something, sorry, just mention something, just tick something, just select something and move on. Do not bother about spending more than 15, 20 seconds in the exam because you don't want to spend one minute, two minute on these topics because you're not getting any marks at all. You may ask me why putting these topics in the exam if they're not giving any marks. Remember one thing, PT, when it started, these topics used to, used to be worth some marks, but now they are not. So Pearson has taken the importance of these topics and put it towards fill in the blanks more because these topics doesn't make any sense. They wanted to make the exam a bit more refined. That is why these topics do not give any marks. But then even if now when I say do not give any marks, I'm not saying one to two marks. I'm saying zero. Even if you get multiple choice, single and multiple answers wrong in listening and reading, you can still get a perfect 90. And I'm not even talking about 79 over here. So again, do not skip, select something in the exam within 10, 15 seconds and move on. Give most of your time towards fill in the blanks, reading and reading plus writing, followed by reorder paragraphs. Watch my other video where I've shared the proper time management of the reading section. You'll understand what I've done. But then these, these three topics should be the only ones. Multiple choice questions. Don't bother about spending any time on them. They're not worth it. Last but not the least, we have got the listening module over here. Now in summary, spoken text, they have reduced the number of questions. So is the marking being reduced now. So one to two questions now, listening and writing both, you get about five to 10 marks. Again, 65 or 79, it is an important topic. So do spend a bit of time on that on a daily basis. Multiple choice, single and multiple answers, again, zero marks. You, you don't get any marks at all in the listening module. So just select something in the exam and move on. Fill in the blanks, very important topic, even if it's 65 or 79, you get about 10 to 15 marks in listening and 10 to 15 marks in writing, followed by you have highlight correct summary, one to two questions now, the number of questions have reduced. So the marking is also reduced. One to two marks in listening, one to two marks in the reading module. Multiple choice, we have already covered that. Select missing words, they have reduced the number of questions. One to two questions, one to two marks. Highlight incorrect words, two to three questions still. The marking is still exactly the same, 10 to 15 marks in listening, 10 to 15 marks in reading, very important topic. And the king of the PT exam, right from dictation, still three to four questions. Still the marking is same, listening approximately 30 marks, writing approximately 35 to 40 marks. Why more marks in writing? Because obviously in writing, there's a lot of spellings, punctuations, all these kind of things. So you get more marks in writing as compared to listening. So this is pretty much the scoring distribution I wanted to share. Now, what was the purpose of making this video? Understand one thing, I'm not trying to just give you a marking distribution just so that you guys can take notes and that's about it. This is an eye opener for you, just so that you guys can understand as to how, how important is each individual topic in the exam 
and why should you prioritize this topic and why should you not prioritize this topic if you're aiming for 65 you know exactly which topics you need to focus on if you need 79 you know exactly which topics you need to focus on and if you need 50 you also know which ex which topics exactly needs to be focused on and which topics you should be putting a lot of time towards understand this video take good notes just so that you guys guys can prioritize afterwards do watch my 65 study plan video or 79 study plan video that we have uploaded on our channel depending on how much scores you're aiming for just so that you can create a study plan by yourself and you know understand how to prioritize each and every topic and which topics are important and everything if you need any one-on-one -on -one support from us me and mohit are available you can get in touch with us on instagram or facebook we can book you in with one-on-one -on -one sessions either 30 minutes or one hour coaching and everything all that stuff is available depending on what you need but then we are there to support you we are there to help you we have been helping students from last six plus years now it's been a long time we have been in this game just make sure that you follow whatever we are saying everyone on youtube is everyone's strategy works everyone is doing their best to get scores i'm not saying someone is wrong or someone is right everyone is right follow one make sure you stick to the plan and make sure you implement that in the exam any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. With that, I'm done with this video. I hope it was helpful. And all the best if you have got your exams coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.